Hi, my name is Drake with h to go Today I'm going to show you how to change your filter cartridges in your CDS reverse osmosis system. First thing you want to do is shut the water off to the system. You find the red tubing, follow it back against the wall. You'll find something like this. This is what the builder put in. When, it's go when this is going with the tube, that's on. When it goes across the tube, that's off. You want to do that. Sometimes you might have different types of shutoffs. Same thing. If this is like this, that's on. When it's across, that's off. Second thing you want to do is turn the water off to the holding tank. You get the you follow the white tube to the holding tank. This is on. This is off. That simple. You take a regular screwdriver. You push it against this clip in here, that releases it, and it should, yes it does, <laughs> pop it right off. And you have this, and you want to take this off, and sometimes this is a little difficult, but not today. And here you have your four cartridges, housings. Take your filter wrench, if you don't have one of these, uh, big pair of pliers, uh, anything that gets around this canister. And you're going to turn the righty, tidy, lefty, loosey doesn't apply here because you're turning the base, not the lid. So this is the way you would loosen it. Sometimes it's pretty tough. You just got to bear down on it and do it. Take out the old one, get you a new one, notice the o-rings, you want to get those right up in there, screw it back, you don't have to get it, you just hand tighten them, you want to repeat that <laughs> for all the canisters you're changing. Once that's done, there's one more filter, it's on the blue line going up to the spigot. It's your finishing filter. Looks like this. The way you get this off is, and it, it's the blue line, You there's a blue o-ring where the tubing goes into. You push down on it while you're pulling the tube out. That's all you do. You do that on both ends to make the video quick. I'll assume you do it. And then one more important thing, when you put your new filter in, you want to make sure this tubing gets up in there. All right. So now that you've changed all your filters, you want to check for leaks. The way you do that, you turn the, the water back on on top of your tank and on your shutoff right here. The water will flow through the system. You check for leaks. You want to check fittings here. You want to make sure it's not leaking there. Once you secure that there's no leaks, you drain the tank, let all the water fall, uh, come out. When it's done, wait about an hour and you're ready to rock and roll. Thank you.